Happy Halloween! Um, out today picking up the last few things for the kids' scavenger hunt. And managed to pick up a few other things too. So I have a Halloween haul on Halloween. Yay! Um, first thing. Cheap little tote bag. Got it for a dollar. At do uh, Family Dollar. Um, I've seen it in there a bunch of times. Thought it was cute. Finally bought it today. Uh, other thing. Was in Dollar General. Found this. Danger, which seen in the forest, avoid the area, two miles north past the Old Stone Bridge, known to use spells of dark magic, and then in the bottom where the glare is, says New Salem Settlement, 1645. But I thought that was really cool, I think I'm going to hang this on my door. And then this one I got for my sister. It says, warning, the dead are rising, seek refuge immediately, do not try to fight or stand your ground, all infected persons have been declared undead and no longer human. And she's probably going to hang this in her room somewhere. Um says they were a dollar, but all the Halloween decor was supposed to be half off, so they were 50 cents. Ended up also getting horns. Me and my sister, we each got a pair. We've been wearing these all day. They're sparkly. Um, we actually had a few people comment <laughs> about us being little devils today. It was kind of funny. Um, thought they were awesome. They were just a dollar, so, you know, cheap. Why not? Other thing is, just really, really excited. This is a candle. It is a candle of skulls. And it was three dollars at TJ Maxx. Last time I was in there they were like I think five or six or something. And so I didn't get them because I didn't have the money, but I was in there today and I got two. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I just thought they were awesome. And the thing that I was most, most, most excited about because I like to do scrapbooking and I make journals and stuff and I can never, ever, ever, ever find Halloween paper. TJ Maxx had it. They had a bunch of Halloween paper. Look, which? Um, this one's all two-sided except for this is like vellum or something right here. You can like see through it. But yeah. Nice. Pretty. Paper. And another one. Some of these are two sided and some of them aren't, which is kind of weird. Um, this is Haunted Hollow. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I was wrong. This isn't the two sided one. I think it's this one. This is a Martha Stewart one, and you know how expensive Martha Stewart anything is. Sparkles! Um, and eyeballs. But yeah, some of these have two sides, and then some of these are just one-sided in one of these things. I don't remember which one it is now. More sparkles. But I thought they were awesome. These were all two dollars a piece. This is the last one. They had four. <laughs> these were the last four. And so I bought all four. Because um, like I said, I can never ever find Halloween paper. So I thought it was awesome. And bought them because they were like $2, two dollars two fifty a piece. And normally, especially the big ones, you know, run $10, 15 $20. So, yeah. Um, that was it. Uh, did the scavenger hunt with the kids. Haven't played um, the little game yet that I made. Because a friend um, always does their house up really big on Halloween, and the kids had never seen it, so he wanted them to come by and see it. My sister took them to go do that, because it's actually a friend of hers. Um, so, the scavenger hunt was a success. Uh, my littlest girl, told, uh, my littlest one, my daughter, said that she thought it was great. She had a lot of fun. Um, my son just was being Mr. Grouchy Pants today. So... Um, but whenever they get back from going to the friend's house, um, we're probably going to try to play the little game and see how that goes. Um, yep. Other than that, um, may try to do ritual tonight. Um, my brother was asking me about some things, um, that he was wanting to do, so we may try to do that, depending on how tired everybody is by the time the night's done, because, uh, the last couple days for everybody's been kind of tiring, just running around and stuff. Anyway, um, I hope everybody has a safe and happy Halloween, Samhain, um, and I'll talk to you guys later.